All right, guys, this is going to be something completely new. It's a Monday morning. Let me tune this down. It's the Monday morning sidewalk, and we're going to try a podcast. So we're going to send this over to the podcast section on YouTube to gather digital dust because that channel is pretty dusty. Anyway, it is the first Monday in the fall of 2024. I hope you guys are happy to be here on a Monday morning. It had a wonderful start here in North Texas today with the sweet pitter pat of rain. It's not much, but we'll take it. We're in drought conditions. I'll probably run a water Wednesday just to show you what the droughts uh, map looks like and stuff like that. But I'm on cup number four. Woo! Good stuff. Maybe that's what's got me so shouty about this. Um, and if you're into coffee, try Pete's Major Dickinson Blend. The link is down in the description. Major Dickinson is the most predictable and uh, easy to find. And for me, I grind my own, of course. So uh, you can get it already ground or take the time to learn to grind. Okay. Um, let's see. I hope you guys are getting more rain. I'm, you know, this is going to be a little more like my old videos where we're going to go riffing around a little bit. And, uh, you know, if you've seen the other videos that have <laughs> kind of taken off... Um, they're very scripted, so I, you know, that's kind of not me. It's okay. It's okay, but it's just not me. Sometimes I've got to cut loose. Um, so let's talk about fly fishing. Hey, that's why you're here, right? Conditions, it hasn't rained enough to create runoff. It's just soaking in. Um, but we know that in terms of uh, rainfall. If you're somewhere that got more rain and you've got some some rain that has already soaked in and is running off, you're looking for places where there's flow. That's number one. Of course, it's going to be off color because it hadn't rained in a while. Um, and number two is places where water flows into. So that those two places um, try to overcome the uh, the lack of clarity in the water. So you can fish the color changes where water's run into a lake or something like that from a creek or something like that, you know. That's what you want to do. And maybe even go out in the rain and do it, you know. Come on, guys. You got underwear. You got your... You saw my video on the fly fishing underwear, right? I don't know. Anyway. Okay. That's what you can do as far as a tip for fly fishing. I just run over a couple topics here. Uh, and I do... This is not a script, okay? I've got a screen here. This is not a script. I've been frustrated with sunglasses and the pricing. It's corporate greed, pure and simple, that the prices keep going up and up and up. Um, you know, a lot of fly fishing companies are, and, and peripheral companies like sunglass companies are using um, inflation as an excuse to raise prices into, now sunglasses, 250 300 bucks for a pair of decent sunglasses. That's not right. Um, the cost on those is probably around, I don't know, $5, $10 from China now. It's not like they're Italian-made frames like the old days. This is this is cheaper and cheaper stuff. Um, so I got really frustrated with it. And uh, the one company, I don't have my sunglasses sitting around here, but they are waiting somewhere. Um, I got frustrated. So what I did was I started looking. I got, I had, it's, like, it's like Instagram is reading my mind. They sent me an ad for a company that does replacement lenses. The company's called Fuse. And it kind of got me excited because when I went to Fuse, they had all the frames for this particular company that it is, I'm, I'm a pro for. They had like every frame they ever made lenses for. So, so they didn't make the lenses for this company, but they listed the frames and then you could... And, Go down that list, click on it, and then see what see what lenses they carry for that frame. Very, very enticing. So I had this one pair of brand new frames that arrived. The glasses were I don't know if they were had a bad lamination to begin with, because I didn't notice it or something. But later on, two lines appeared in one of the lenses that made them impossible to use. Perfectly new. I mean not later on, later on. I mean like after a a couple of weeks, I was like, what this, what is this? And so I put them up 
couldn't use them. I'm a photographer by trade. If I, if I can't see, I can't play. So that those got put away. Waiting for those fused lenses to arrive. We'll see if they're as good. Come on, man. It's going to be hard for them to be as good as the originals. But I'm fighting corporate greed now um, because that pricing was just off the charts. Okay. What else? Oh, um, you know, I'm involved with uh, a fly tying program here in Denton, Texas for veterans. Contact me if you want to know more about that or check the website, my website, texasflycaster.com. Um, you know, back to corporate greed, if you are um, frustrated, buy something from me. My prices haven't changed in years. I have fly line mats and you've seen them, you've seen them advertised. I think it's been more than two years since I've changed my price on those and I've held steady even though the price of everything around me has gone up the uh, the price of the product to produce has not gone up so I've kept it steady and um, I'm weathering it out you guys need to buy some mats I've got many more products we'll talk about those as time goes by hopefully this type of format will work as far as this this new thing here that I'm trying out you know, I don't even really know what a YouTube podcast is, but I'm assuming it's something like this. We're going to find out. And hopefully this will be something that you guys will get something out of besides a real high from a cup of good coffee and Pete's and um, information on Monday. You know, Mondays are the day we all get back to the grind. I'm grinding out new products. Check them out. Subscribe to my Instagram if you want to see a real, real constant feed of new products being shipped and being made and, and experimental things that I'm doing. How about a spoon fly body that's for fresh water? Not, never seen one. I've got them and I'm sending them out for free right now. If you will contact me and give me your address, I've sent out, I don't know, a dozen or so already in two days. So, if you want to be a fly tire, challenge yourself to tying a spoon fly. That is a really challenging fly. All right, don't forget. I've got to get out of here. Do not forget, if you're a veteran, this program is It's going to start small. There's a limited number of people. It's in Denton and Roanoke, and I can give you a lot more information on this. And, you know, if you're like me... Uh, even just a little bit. I hope you're not like me, but anyway. Um, fly tying is pretty relaxing, and we're heading into fall. And, you know, we only have two seasons. Fall lasts about, I don't know, five days. And then it's winter time, and then you got nothing better to do for all days on end when you're frozen in, but tie flies. We always tie ahead, and sometimes we're prepared during to, to restore our, our supplies of flies, but... My program, I'll call it mine, it's not mine, the program in Denton starts October 12th. So get yourself ready, veterans, and contact me if uh, if you'd like to get some fly tying experience. Um, no charge for any of that. It's not going to cost you a dime. It'll take just a little time on a Saturday morning. And there's a Roanoke program too, so I can tell you all about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Monday morning sidewalk. We're going to sign off, and I hope to do much more of this kind of broadcasting um, in the future. See you next time.